Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of July the 11th through to the 17th. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Libra. First up, we have the Three of Swords reversed, followed then by the Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Next, we have Major Arcana, the Chariot upright, followed then by the Seven of Cups upright, and lastly, the Knight of Wands in the upright. For your overall energy, Libra, we have the Three of Swords in the reverse position, indicating their is a level of healing going on this week for some of you. Moving on from a situation that caused separation, disappointment, third party situation. Uh, it could be anything. Remember, these are just general reads. But if you were subject to any of these things, now the disappointment could come. It's not necessarily romantic. It could be, uh, you know, work or career disappointments or anything like that. Family disappointments, friends. Um, disappointments can come from uh, and loss and sorrow can come from many different directions so at one point the three of swords was in the upright for you for it to be reversed now there's a level of healing and now the swords are starting to fall out this could be where we're finally moving on from uh, the incident whether it be uh, recent or maybe it was a while ago for some of you you're finally going through some kind of healing process but remember the three of swords in the reverse position can point back to the two of swords upright which is a card that represents a little bit of a stalemate because it can be a case of when well okay we're, we've gotten over this sadness sorrow disappointment hurt feelings but now it leaves us with a little bit of a dilemma because do we really want to re-enter into a situation that put us into the three of swords in the upright position even if the person comes back if there's apologies and you know you kiss and make up and so forth sometimes <clears throat> you know people you know lather rinse repeat they keep going through the same process with the same person and it's kind of at the point where you know decision needs to be made if that's what's going on whether it be a romantic relationship a friendship or what have you if it keeps ending up in that same place again then it's time to take a look at it and you could be in a situation now of making a decision if this was say a um, getting over a uh, disappointment over a career losing a job or something like that it could be that you're in the healing process now you're finally ready to move forward and you're trying to make a decision as to which way to go in terms of your career or your job pursuits right at the beginning of the week we have the queen of pentacles in the upright position it is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is earth energy taurus virgo capricorn sun moon or rising well the queen of pentacles is someone who's in a position to um be able to look after herself you know financially this is someone who's you know what I mean either has a decent job or has you know family money or something like that she's known as someone who's pretty stable on the financial material side um, if this is somebody you're romantically involved with it could be that you know this is the person who's main concern in life is about the material aspects of life now if this is somebody in terms of a vocation this is somebody you're dealing with which it very well could be the queen of pentacles can represent a um, a bank someone who works in a bank or somebody who's a this could be a loans officer this could be um, a real estate agent it could be a financial advisor or somebody who's just aiding and helping you with your financial situation or someone who um is just really financially savvy is really good with money and that but then you could also we can also um, embody the energies of the other you know the, the cork people and so forth so this could be you maybe just becoming extremely grounded at the beginning of the week after a loss maybe a job loss or something like that we're becoming really grounded and very much aware of of our material surroundings and our security surroundings next card up is the cancer energy here we have the 
<clears throat> chariot in the upright position beautiful energy chariot is where we put the blinders on and we just move very quickly towards our desired end which is usually a victory so it all we have to do is sort of show up there and we know it's a guaranteed victory so it's one of those things just don't steamroll over anyone else's toes it's a card that represents full confidence victory and um and uh yeah putting those blinders on you have to be very like focused when it comes to the chariot energy if you are moving towards a person if you're moving towards a job or something like that you just need to just show up but you got to put the blinders on you have to make sure your confidence is strong and just move towards it and it's a guaranteed victory now for some of you the chariot can represent uh, travel sometimes this comes up when we're taking a road trip or we're taking a travel somewhere it, when it's in the upright position it's good news because this means that <clears throat> the travel will go relatively smoothly this can also pop up when we are looking at purchasing a vehicle maybe some of you are looking at purchasing an rv or uh, you know a, a motorcycle <laughs> or um, a vehicle of some kind a, a car could be you're looking for some of you yes this could be a financial advisor you're talking to your banker about you know purchasing a, uh, or them financing a vehicle for you so interesting moving on towards the weekend we have the seven of cups in the upright position well there's plenty of fish in the sea if this was all about the breakup of a relationship um a libra don't worry about it there's plenty more <laughs> plenty of fish in the sea here that's what i always think of with the seven of cups in the upright position this is i always say it's better to have more opportunities than none so this is lots of options lots of opportunity but we really really have to look closely at uh, the options here because not all of them are realistic for us some of them are not good choices so we really need to sift through them it's very neptunian energy can cause a lot of confusion while looking which would explain the two swords you know trying to make a decision about it but there is um there's plenty of fish in the sea <laughs> now the seven of cups for some of you could represent looking for job opportunities could be looking for apartments or homes could be looking for you know romantic partners sometimes this is like being on the dating sites or you know looking around to see who you can start dating now if this is after a breakup and there is a potential uh, suitor here because we do have the knight of wands in the upright position it is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is fire energy aries leo sag sun moon arising the knight of wands is someone who comes in very swiftly we don't even see them coming sometimes it's an offer so for those of you who've been looking say for a job there could be an offer for said job if you say for example you're putting your resume into a bunch of different places it could be that you get an offer like right away and uh, all of a sudden or you get uh, you get you hear back from someone right away and then all of a sudden the offer comes in this is something that comes in really quickly if you're looking for a home or a place to live this could be your put you putting in an offer very quickly because perhaps you find something for others of you on the romantic front this could be somebody this is quicksilver it comes in a very charming romantic person could be coming your way just wanting to uh, uh, have some fun sometimes the knight of wands just represents having a good time let's go out it's right on the weekend so it could be somebody coming around to offer you some fun times let's go on an adventure let's go do something fun could even be travel there is indicators of travel here with the chariot as well as the knight of wands good news for those of you who have your house or your belongings up for sale it could be a quick sale comes in with the knight of wands this one like this is very speedy energy it's very fast moving so the knight of wands comes in boom makes the offer and he doesn't stick around too long to uh, allow you to deliberate so you're gonna have to decide pretty quickly here um libra so looks like a very exciting and interesting interesting week for you so don't worry about any losses libra there's plenty of fish in the sea <laughs> so that's what i have for you i really hope you have a wonderful week uh thank you very much for joining me 
and um, I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you. Take care. Bye-bye for now.